Before visiting Thassos in Greece, we had no idea what the food prices or the shops are going to be like, so I thought I'd give you a quick preview of one of the shops we found at Golden Beach in Thassos. This shop is located on the west side of Golden Beach, which is a bay in Thassos, and I don't really know the name, but it was quite an affordable and one of the largest shops in the area. So this has a nice range of hats, and it also has some balls, it has some spades and sunglasses footballs, a ton of children's toys, scarves, bandanas, movies, a literal ton of magnets which you can choose from. Then you got some packed breads and you've also got some fresh breads and some pastries as well. Quite a good amount of choices. That's fresh cheeses, we've got baklava, biscuits, some of these Greek kind of sweets, more biscuits sun cream really really good range of crisps these are 150 um or a euro a range of sweets which are only a euro which is actually a really really good price and some haribos i'm not sure how much these are though some beers which are are they reasonable price not bad. they're not too bad price some more waters and then you've got the fridge which has got some pots cans juices, alcohol, and some more beers, which are only a euro each, which is actually a really, really good price. This is like the standard, most common beer in Greece. And there is an array of fresh fruit and veg, all refrigerated. You can see they're all very nice and fresh. And some literal huge watermelons. I mean, these guys are massive foods in Greece and snacks include these. These are actually really nice, they're caramelized almonds. They've got a lot of nuts, they've got a lot of crisps, they've got a lot of croissants and pastries. There's fresh hams, there is yogurts, there's feta, feta, and like the tasakis and dips are a lot more expensive than what they thought they were. But yeah, feta is like three, three euros. You've got a lot of snack things, we really like these, we like uh, stick longs, these pick things. Yeah, but they're really, really nice. Then a range of biscuits. Um, typical Oreos are, I believe, 192 euros. And then you've got some of the different ones. You can see the prices on there. They're not too and bad. And you've got a large range of chocolates as well. The chocolates are quite expensive here. This is one of the Greek ones. This is 220. But then if you look at Milka, I believe they are about 120, 160, 130. These are really, really nice. I recommend these are four euro 50. They have a range of cereals, which aren't a ridiculous price. You're looking at about two to four euros. They've got a range of sanitary. They've got some um, shower gels, soaps, two brushes. got some dining options. So we made a pasta. Um, there's pasta sauces. That is mustards, mayo, ketchups. Then they've got all the pastas and stuff. We really liked this pasta right here. This is like a taglatelli, um, but it's made from castles. They're a big fan of the herbs here as well, we saw. So there's a good range of herbs, which are good for cooking. A lot of people take them as souvenirs. And then there's a little tiny frozen section, which we don't actually have a freezer, so we can't use. There's milks. These are 180, but then you're looking at prices between one to three dollar euros cheeses cheeses are quite expensive here the same with the butters but they're not too bad taking so account this exchange rate products are about the same price a one pound packet of biscuits in the uk is about 120 euros here so it's pretty similar and um, maybe a little bit more expensive because it's an independent small shop so you're looking similar to like co-op or prices or you then have a range of souvenirs you've got these little souvenirs from greece which are little packs of Cute little stuff at about 10 euros. Got these bowls, got mugs, shot glasses, aprons. These cute little wooden things are actually really pretty. Some coastal souvenirs, bowls, a ton of olive oil and olives, literal tons. Greek delight, which is quite expensive to be fair. And then you got oizo, uzo which is the most common drink here. It's like the traditional drink and a bunch of alcohols.
Throughout the week, we probably ate about 60% um, in the room and about 40% on the beach and restaurants. And this is what we brought. As you can tell, there's some vegetables, it's actually quite a good price, lemonades, feta, tzatziki, which was so good. My dad got quite a few beers and we had some really, really nice meals, actually. This is one of my favourite meals we had. It was so, so good. This salad, the watermelon is amazing. I definitely recommend buying a watermelon because it lasts such a long time. It's such a good and healthy snack. And yeah. Overall, I really, really enjoyed the food that was in the supermarkets. It was quite a good price and it was really, really yummy and fresh. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you.